everybody, welcome back to Haunted Falls Paranormal. This is Jordan. Um, it's been a month. I needed to take a good long break. Uh, we had a storm that didn't hit us, so um, Orange Grove's calling me back. There's a lot of places that are calling me back, so Tony Joe Henry's calling me back. She's one of our merry murderesses, which I don't believe she should have got the chair. Maybe life in prison or 10 to 25 years, what I'm picking up, but She's been calling me back, so let's see what's going on, shall we? It is getting close to Halloween. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Happy hauntings! See you in a bit. This is Jordan at Haunted Falls Paranormal and I felt Tony Joe Henry wanted me to come out here. Um, Haunted Falls Paranormal! <laughs> Being goofball. But I've been, I'm pulled in this direction and I want to see what's going on. I still see a 1800s funeral going on so this, it's still in the time loop and I haven't been back here in a while so. Um, I've got my Necrophonic app, I've got a few apps, my camera sometimes picks up spirit voices, and I've got my SP7, so we'll see what we get. Happy haunting, see you in a bit. Okay, I got I just got a vision of the sharecropper from the 30s, 1930s that I had seen out here months ago. Um, and I'm hearing him, as well as that the funeral going on. So let's turn the necrophonic app and see what we can get. I feel also somebody died of a broken heart. My heart is hurting very, very, very badly. I'm feeling that one very strong. Hi, this is Jordan. Um, I've got the necrophonic app on if you want to talk through it. I feel a woman crying. I'm feeling, I'm stepping into her energy. I just see this handkerchief on her face. She's got a Victorian attire on. She's crying. And what she's telling me is she lost her husband. She was a young widow. And I'm getting that from her very strongly. Ma'am, I am so sorry for your loss. I really am. <laughs> Does anybody else want to talk?
Anybody else want to talk? Any Whitakers? Can you tell me where you guys are from, originally? doggy and I'm getting projected a dog running around which I've heard a dog out here before can you tell me anything Okay, I heard, and I physically heard this, a hey, and I saw an apparition of an elderly gentleman over here. So it is, as we all know, it is getting close to Halloween, so the veil is thinning, so they're going to be a little bit more active. We're going to go to the Nassers. I haven't seen Emily in a while, so this is her. Miss Emily right here. And there's the rose I still I left right there. It's still still hanging around. Did I say did Oh it won't last, that's what I heard. Any Nassers around that want to manipulate the Necrophonic app? Okay, I got the image of, um, and I'm still getting the image of a child with a ball, like a striped ball, rainbow striped and white. The 1950s, and I keep sensing she got hit by a car, she's got her hair tied back, and she's got a blue puppy dress on with white shoes. Mommy told me not to, but I ran out the gate. Whew. Okay, that's um that's very strong right now. When you're in a graveyard and there's a lot of spirits around, you never know what in your clairvoyant psychic medium, you never know what you're gonna pick up. Mr. Bertrand, are you around? Mr. 
Miss Josephine? Any Collins? How do you like in the weather? Okay, I was walking down, I was well, walking, driving down this area right here. And there was really strong energy to the point where I could not breathe. It hit me right smack in the chest, like really knocked me out. And now, I'm walking past it, and I'm not feeling it anymore. Let me walk a little further. Oh my god, now I'm feeling it. And I'm seeing it. Seeing like, I'm seeing two different timelines over here. Studa, but they're showing, but it's showing me like Studebaker's parked. It looks like these people, these spirits from downtown Lake Charles, like that's the period it's showing me, like 1920s. And I'm seeing drinking, whoo, partying, flappers. It's almost like I'm, sta I'm stepping into a timeline, like a pocket of time. Even though, the, like I said, cemeteries you never know, and as sensitive as people are to the spirit world, you never know what you're going to find out or what you're going to see. But boy, howdy, this is strong. I'm shaking. <laughs> Does anybody want to talk? Do you guys want to talk? Behind me is a gathering of spirits. I'm seeing the outline of a woman in her skirt. Definitely Victorian times. Ma'am, do you want to tell me who, what your name is? I'm not here to harm you. My name's Jordan. I'm not here to harm anyone. Is there anything you want me to know? Okay, we're walking to Miss Tony Joe Henry's grave. Is there a Carol Pierce out here? Carrie? Some of them are overgrown. Tony, can you talk? All right. She says she still haunts the courthouse and she's still going to haunt the 
Forgive me for saying her words, the fat bitches, old bitches that work there, little ladies. You'll know her by her burning hair. So, yeah. Okay. I didn't want to stay too long over there. The energy is really, 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 really strong. Um, I don't know what that one says. Definitely a young person, you can tell. Yeah, does anybody want to talk? Any Davies? Everybody happy I'm here? Heard yes. Anybody else want to talk? Are you happy it's almost Halloween? Okay, I still feel a child that's that's been out here for a while and they were burned. I, I'm getting in a house fire. And there are some yellow fever victims that are out here. Spread rampant throughout the U.S. Galveston was the worst case scenario. From what I know. But yeah, this is uh, Orange Grove Cemetery, everybody. I thank all the spirits for talking. Um, my blood sugar's low, so I'm going to go get some meat. See y'all next time. Happy hauntings. Thanks for sticking with me. I'm on a battlefield like, oh my God, oh la la. Knocking soldiers down like house of guys, oh la la. I'm a one woman on our main, oh la la. Yes, I'm a one woman on our main, oh la la, oh la la. I pull up in a Mac Black supercar like Whitney, yeah, no bodyguard. I'm styling on them, getting them hard. I got it, I bring out the boys to the yard. You see me at the club in Hollywood, you know I bring that Detroit hood. You like it and you feeling good. You know that you want it, you know that you would. Especially tonight, the music is so playing, so get up and you want it, you know that you would I'm on a battlefield like, oh my god, oh la la Knocking soldiers down like house of cards, oh la la I'm a one woman